Hi everyone, my name is Heather. Today I'm going to teach you how to get super duper long eyelashes. I always have people come up to me asking me if my eyelashes are real or not and what mascara I use. And I believe it's all about the technique, not necessarily the mascara. So today I'm going to show you how I do my eyelashes. <laughs> um, this is, I promise you, this will be different from any other mascara routine that you've seen before. Um, and I already made a mini tutorial on this on my TikTok actually, and it blew up. It got like 8 million views. I'll probably like put it somewhere up here. It went pretty crazy, so I decided to make a full length video to further explain and kind of show the process a little bit more in detail. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, now that we're all nice and up close and personal, we are gonna start off with your favorite eyelash curler. So I use the Tweezerman's eyelash curler. Yes, this curler is a little bit more expensive, but I think it's totally worth the price. Um, I think it's like 15 bucks or something like that, but I just think it really it does a great job at getting really, really close to the base of your lashes to get that full curl. Because if you're only reaching the middle, you know, you're not getting the full length of what your actual lashes are. So you wanna get all the way to the base. Okay, and now the thing that makes my mascara routine a little bit different than others a hair dryer okay so the first thing we're gonna do with our hair dryer is actually we're gonna heat up just the top of this curler here make it nice and hot so that the heat will hold in our curls okay now that this is nice and hot just wait just wait like one second I had so many comments of people saying that they burn their eyes because they put it directly on their eyelid right away please wait just a minute you want it to be um, definitely warm but not so much that's gonna burn your eyelids so I like to test it by even just tapping it on my chin here we're just gonna go ahead and curl our eyelashes so you want to get as close to the base as possible and then this is something that you absolutely do not have to do but I like to do it I take my index finger here and I push back and up as I'm opening the eyelash curler a little bit and this just really really gets at the base like it it doesn't get much closer than this so I'm just gonna go ahead and curl it for about 30 seconds okay so I just wanted to show you a quick side-by-side -side here of curled versus not curled so yep okay and now that our lashes are curled we're just gonna take our favorite mascara I use the voluminous butterfly by L'Oreal Paris um, I used to use the covergirl one I want to say you know what, I have no idea what it was called, but it was in a green tube and it was great and I loved it and I loved the way it made my lashes look, but I actually found out that I was allergic to it. Um, my eyes were like watering nonstop. It was actually really bad. <laughs> um, so I actually stopped using that completely and I switched back to my old mascara that I used to use, you know, back in high school and, you know, my eyes aren't watering anymore. So for the first coat, you just want to go um, really lightly. Uh, you don't want to put on too much mascara because this is going to end up making it look more clumpy. So just a really light first layer just to set them in place where you want them. Okay, so this next step is totally optional. Um, you definitely don't have to do it, but I love to do it because I think it makes a really big difference in the way my lashes look. So you're just gonna take something with a pointy end. This is actually a pimple popper uh, that I don't use for pimple popping. I literally just use it for my lashes. And you're gonna go ahead and take this pointy end and just separate out anything you don't want. Um, looking the way it does so if there's any clumps you can separate it if there's just like some lashes sticking together that you don't like you can go ahead and separate those
Okay, and now that we have this first coat of mascara on and separated to our liking, we're gonna go ahead and take our hair dryer once again. And you're gonna wanna have it on the cool setting. And if your hair dryer has a cool shot button, definitely hold that down. And we're gonna go ahead and dry our eyelashes in an upward um, position like this. This is gonna help them stay up all day long and stay curled. So really quick too, one more thing that I saw a lot of when people were duetting my mascara routine is they were keeping their eyes like wide open while they were blow drying it. Um, I wouldn't recommend that just because I'm not really sure what the air pressure could possibly do to your eyes. I mean, obviously it could dry them out, which wouldn't be good, but um, so yeah, please just like close your eyes while you're doing the drying process. Okay, now that we have our first coat on and dried, we're gonna go ahead and take our mascara wand once again, and we're just gonna go lightly behind the eyelashes. I don't go all the way down, I just do the tips of the back of my eyelashes, and this, you'll see, it really just helps um, make the length, basically. Okay, so you can see the instant difference there, and now we're gonna go ahead and go over the fronts again. And if you're anything like me, you will get mascara literally all over your eyelid, which is totally fine. We're gonna go ahead and clean that up later once it's all dried, so don't worry about it right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my little pokey my little pokey guy and separate anything I'm not liking once again. Okay, and now that they're separated to my liking, I'm gonna go ahead and dry them once more, again with the cool setting. Okay, so now that it's all dry and nice, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up what's behind my lashes here on my eyelid, just with a dry cotton swab. Okay, so now that you are all cleaned up, there is one more thing I like to do that again is completely optional. You do not have to do this at all, but these are just little pointy tweezers so that I can really um, get in there. So like you see how this lash right here in the middle kind of has a weird like lump at the top. I don't know. It's like a clump. So I'm going to go ahead and just pinch that. Boop. And now it's fixed. And you can go ahead and do that with any ones that have like weird curls. Like my lashes like to curl at the top for some reason. So you can go ahead and just pinch anything that's not looking good. Or like, I really like these end pieces here. Um, so I'm just gonna take it and merge these two together to make a nice little... Okay, so this is with the two coats of mascara on. I just wanna show you, I still have a couple more little tips and tricks for the lower lashes and just the overall eye look. But, yeah. Okay, and now that the top lashes are all done and long, we're gonna go ahead and work on the rest of the eye. So I'm gonna take this faux whites, this NYX faux whites in the shade linen. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my, a water line here and this is just gonna really help to open up the eyes okay so I just want to show you the immediate difference in that you can tell I look a lot more awake on this side and alert and my eyes look a little bit bigger and then on this side it just looks you know normal so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye now Okay, so now that I have the white eyeliner on and my eyes look a little bit bigger and brighter, I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line. So you're just gonna take your mascara 
and very, very lightly coat um, the tips of your lashes. I don't like to get too close to the base on this because I find that um, if I get too close to the base, it can make my eyes look kind of dark and I already have natural dark circles or hereditary dark circles, so I don't really like to accentuate those. So I'm just gonna very, very lightly here coat my lower lashes. And again, there's some weird little nasty clumps, so I'm just gonna... Boop that right off. And it did get under my eye here, so I'm just gonna... Boom. Okay, and that's it. Now you should have some nice, long, beautiful eyelashes that are gonna stay curled all day long. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it so that everyone in your life can have beautiful, long eyelashes just like you. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you liked it. Thanks for watching.